hear me? Oh, rocky kia, oh, rocky coo. Squirt, squirt. I take my hand washing song very seriously. It's quite long. So today we're going to make a wrap. There are three key points to making a successful wrap. The first is you microwave your wrap and get it soft. Kind of like they do when they build your burrito. So now you've got a soft burrito that's very malleable. I like to put my condiments directly on so you don't have a dry and mealy wrap. Now don't get hung up on all the ingredients I use because my wraps are kind of like a giant junk chef salad. You can put whatever you want, but I'm trying to illustrate here how much you can put in here and still make it a wrap. So let's put some cheese, maybe some tomatoes. We've got ham and turkey. Let's put a little more cheese. Some lettuce. This is getting big. Maybe some tomato, uh, some pickles. Two pickles this time. Oh, and the crowning achievement, maybe some roasted red peppers. Oh my heavens, will this ever, ever, ever wrap. Salt and pepper are key to any sandwich, not just a wrap. So make sure you salt and pepper. This one's gonna be hard, but, so the microwave, the salt and pepper, and the final tip to having a successful wrap is you gotta mangle it. You gotta touch it because I mean, you, you gotta touch it, you gotta get dirty. But when have your hands been cleaner? You know, this is the time to mangle your wrap. So see how I'm kind of squishing it in? I'm touching it like you wouldn't normally want to do. You gotta mangle the wrap. You'll notice they do this when they make your burritos. So how in the world did I get all that in one wrap? There it is. And then I use a serrated knife. Cut this. A beautiful kaleidoscope of a wrap. Happy wrapping.